Mr. Schofield. Thank you for joining us today. So we have some questions for you. First, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? That's actually an easy one. I would have Green Lantern's Ring, where you can create things using your imagination and your own willpower. And another question is, what is the most useless talent you have? The most useless talent I have? Um, okay, I can control my lazy eye without trying. I can make a goat drift off and drift back again. You look horrified, Issa. And another one is more personal. What is your family like? You like my immediate family? What do you, what do you mean family like, here? That's a broad term. Your immediate family, like your like the people closest to you. Okay, um, well, I've been married for almost 22 years now. Started dating in college, been together ever since. Um, our son's a sophomore here at DCS, thought you guys know him. And right now he's watching the announcements and he's horrified that I'm mentioning him. So, hi Simon. <laughs> Okay, he'll be angry now I get home. That's amazing. It's my entire day. I love trolling him, by the way. That's my favorite hobby. Trolling your kid. That's what all parents do, right? That's what we do. So, yeah, we've, um, been, together for, we've been together 23 years now. Um, she's a math professor. So we met in math class. Go figure. We're both math majors. So we're kind of a nerdy family overall. I'm more geeky than nerdy. She's more nerdy than geeky. But it's, it's, a, it's a good, healthy balance. Plus, she puts up with me. And is Simon the only child you have? Yes. Yep, that's it. Just him. My wife does say she is a married single mom of two teenage boys. Because she claims I'm as bad as he is. <laughs> okay, I broke easy. That was easy. <laughs> but more of a professional question. In your opinion, what's the best part of teaching? Um... It's probably that watching the kids realize that they like something, they're really good at something. Or, you know, they, so they had that light bulb of, oh, wow, this might be my future career. Like computer science last year with Kieran and other students were like, oh, my God, I love this stuff. This is great. I want this for a living. It's like something they never would have thought about before. And then they get into class and they go, wait, I have a, I have a talent for this. And you get to watch them kind of this process of going from, oh, I can't do this to, oh, I know what you do now. Here, check this out. Oh, and how many years of teaching experience do you have? Uh, this is my 23rd year overall and my seventh at DCS. Wow. And if you could be president, what would you do? President of the country? Yes. yes. You want to put me in office? <laughs> do, do you yes. not know how badly that would go for people? It'd be fun to watch, I admit. As I know, I have a field day with me. Um, oh, geez, what would I do? Um, I would probably really try to emphasize a shift back to trusting science, trusting education. You now, there's a, a big part of the country that, for whatever reason, looks down on you if you have an education. They uh, they think that you, you're above them, or whatever. And no, I just happen to have a degree and stuff. It's not that big of a deal, but. I would definitely push to, you know, make it cool to be smart. Make it cool to have degrees and educations. You don't have to have an education. No, that is true. You don't need to have a college education. You need to have an education, not a college degree. But for whatever reason, sometime in the last 20, 30 years, things shifted where, oh, you, you're college educated? Well, I don't trust you. And I don't know why that happened, and I want to see that change again. You know, and just, just get along. Yeah, I agree. And if you could time travel, where would you go? <laughs> if I could time travel, do I get a TARDIS from Doctor Who? First question. Yeah. Do I get like a TARDIS? You can okay. Choose your transportation. So, so I can go through time and space. Okay, excellent. Um, hmm. I would probably go back to my family tree, like just kind of stop each generation and check things out. Because I've, I've traced my family tree back to about the year 1007 to the first King of Wales, King Llewellyn ap Gruffudd. So I guess somewhere way back on royalty. So, yeah, it's amazing. So I'd probably want to travel back and see everything. You know, and say, well, how did you meet you? And how did you meet you? And where did this come from? I think it'd be kind of cool to go back and just kind of trace that. Just sit back and watch the popcorn soda. 
Yeah, that would be cool. And if you owned a boat, what would you name it? Oh, Lord. If I owned a boat, what would I name it? Um, uh, I'd probably call it I'm a boat. Interesting. Just to mess people's heads. Because they're going to go, is that really the name of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Here's a very weird question. Would you rather be uncomfortably laughing for the rest of your life or uncomfortably crying? Laughing. Not even close. I hate crying. It has no place in life. But laughing, laughing is okay. I know you're thinking you don't laugh much. I actually laugh all the time. Just not in front of students usually. But put me at home, put on a funny show or movie. I'll have some fun on crying, which I hate, but whatever. It's like, I can't breathe at some point. I'm laughing so hard. I just don't show it at school. And a more serious question. What is your work ethic like? Um, I'm one of those who believes in working hard and playing hard. You know, get your job done. You've got stuff to do. Teachers have got so much on our plates. You know, I'm both teaching and doing all my e-learning stuff, running Canvas and Google and, you know, you guys in your classrooms fixing things. I got a lot of stuff to do. So I am very big on being efficient, getting things done as quickly as possible because the teachers need this stuff done. If they say, oh, my laptop stopped working, I can't go, all right, I'll get you tomorrow. You're fine, relax. I can't do that. They need it now. So I'm definitely one of those that I'm going to push get everything done as quickly as I can, but also make sure it's done correctly. But then when I'm done working, I'm going to go relax. I'm going to read comic books, play some games, whatever. I'm going to go relax. I agree. What is one food you will never eat? Well, there's a lot of foods I'll never eat. Um, I'm very, very finicky. Like, I don't eat fruits and vegetables and nuts and mush and those things. I just don't like them. I have sensory issues, so for me, food is like a very, very touchy thing. You know, certain foods, I look at certain foods, I just can't do it. I've never tried coffee in my life because it smells so bad. I, I, I hate the smell of coffee. It's disgusting. I just, I can't do it. I don't drink alcohol because the smell is so bad. And it's just, I can't be around those things. So when it comes to food and stuff, uh, colors, the texture, how it looks, I'll take one look and go, nope, not trying that ever. So, uh, but so the thing I do love, I love macaroni and cheese. I mean, who doesn't? If you don't, then I, I don't trust you. I love Cadbury cream eggs, nectar of the gods. I love eggnog. It's almost eggnog season. I can't wait. My wife hates eggnog. So that's more for me. And what's your favorite DCS memory? Oh, that's, there's a whole lot of those. Um, <laughs> I've got six plus years worth. But I have to say that the best one, I would think, um, at the end of last year, we you know, had the end of the school year. We all came back for a quick, you know, hey, how you been, get together, miss you guys, so on and so forth. And I found out that I was voted as teacher of the year for DCS. So that's probably the best memory I have here so far. Just above the unicorn cost that gave Mr. Garvin nightmares for five years. It, it's, <laughs> it's close. And speaking about those Halloween costumes, which has oh. been your favorite? Oh, you mean just a DCS? Um, or like yes. overall, just DCS. Okay. Um, Lord, hang on here. Okay, I was the math fairy. I was the unicorn. Um, I was a thesaurus rex. I was, actually, I was a T-Rex tourist. I was a blue screen of death. I wore the unicorn costume. I had the unicorn head, the red tutu, the feathered legs, the white gloves, the fairy wings. Um, that was, I think, your first year here, Issa. Yes. Maybe the year before you arrived. I don't remember. But yeah, it's just, just the reactions of people. And poor Mr. Garber has spent a couple of years still asking if I have that costume still. Not, you know, not these words or anything, but do you have that? Like, of course I do. It's here on campus. So it's always that big question of what are you going to do next? The answer is I have no idea. And are you going to be anything this year? I don't know yet. If we do costumes DCS this year, I will do something. I have no idea what. <laughs> Most of them have been decided like a week, like a couple days before. Like some, the uh, like the blue screen of death, I planned ahead for. But the unicorn costume, I planned that out about four days before it actually was Halloween. 
I was like, how outrageous can I be? Spirit Halloween store. Hmm. Unicorn mask. Cool. Ooh, fairy wings. That sounds good. Ooh, bright feather leg warmers. Awesome. Oh, I read tutu. It was just how outrageous can I be? So there's not much planning ahead. But this year, I don't know what's gonna happen. I guess we'll find out, won't we? And I asked some of my peers for questions, and one oh, of them Lord. sent me this weird one. What planet are you planning on visiting during the next vacation? <laughs> hmm. um, my home planet, maybe? I don't know. Those are rumors of meeting an alien. I, I cannot confirm or deny the rumors that I'm not from this planet, so I don't know. Um, uh, uh, I don't fly, ever. Flying is not good. I don't trust it. So I would never be in space. But if I could teleport somewhere instantly, I would probably go visit Mars. Just because of all the sci-fi books I've read over the years that are set on Mars and everything. So I'd probably go visit there first. And another one was, what does grass taste like? Dog food. <laughs> you know what grass tastes like? Never ate grass as a kid? Not that I know of. You never sat there like, hmm. You didn't do that? No. <laughs> no. Oh, it's pretty bad. It's, it's not tasty. So how do you know how dog food tastes like? I don't. But so dogs do eat grass and they're sick. So it's dog food. Oh, OK. She's still judging me. I can feel her judgment for the screen. <laughs> And if you had to choose for being the king of the jungle, aka the tiger or wombat, what would it be? Oh, wombat. I don't like cats in general. I'm mean, big cats are awesome, tigers are cool. But otherwise, cats are demons that will eat you if given the chance. Wombats are cute, fuzzy, like giant puppies. I so agree. Wombat, definitely. If you had the world's attention. For 30 seconds, what would you say? Be nice to each other. What, what else is left? And it kind of covers everything, does it? And what is in your fridge right now? In my fridge right now? Yes. I, I don't know. I have looked. Um, we went shopping yesterday, so. Um, just have to have no milk, various things for lunches. Um, my wife's assorted puddings and desserts she likes to get. Uh, probably some cheese sticks. I don't know. I don't really pay attention. I'm very bad at observing things. I really am. I'm horrible. And when in your life did you find a passion for technology? And in addition, why did you decide to switch from teaching math to technology? So the technology thing was... About 13 years ago, I was like year 10 of teaching math. I was at an online school teaching fully online. And they had to have somebody volunteer to do tech support because their tech office is in Baltimore and we were in Orlando. So you know, if you have problems on site, well, he's going to be on site. So yeah, I can help out with that. I found that I was really good at helping the teachers with things, the students and fixing things. And I really got interested into it. And that's about the time that all the, like, the iPhone that came out. So all the cool stuff were coming out down that time period. And I just, I love that stuff. I find it fascinating. I really do. And I said, you know what? I kind of want to get out of teaching math. I, I want to do technology and I want to you know, help teachers. and I want to help students. And it took uh, 10 years for someone to give me a chance. Well, you're, you're a math teacher. Yes, and I am very good at it. But how do you help us technology if you're a math teacher? Because I'm a teacher. You know, I know how to teach. And tech, I know technology, I can help you guys with stuff, but it took, it took on to Dr. Andrews, it was my third year here. She said, you know, I think you're burned out teaching math. And I was, I was absolutely burned out. 19 years teaching math is exhausting. And she said, I think you would be amazing in technology role. And I said, that's what I want to do actually. And she said, really? I didn't know that. Now you're going to my fourth year in this position. I've been doing, I, like, I love it. I have a great time with it. So, I mean, I don't mind teaching math. I still tutor math. I help kids in math in the hallways. The seniors come track me down sometimes and go, hey, Mr. Schofield, because I had them for math twice, a lot of them. But it's just, this to me, is, it's, a, it's a new challenge. 
You know, after, after a, few, a while, your brain's like, I need something new to do. I taught math. I taught everything from fourth grade up through college. Yeah, they gave me fourth graders for a year. Ponder that for a second. I didn't change the personality at all, by the way. There were a lot of tears that year. <laughs> and if you were principal of DCS, what would you do? Oh, Lord. Uh, um, so many things. I don't ever want to be an administrator, first of all. You guys can relax about that. I do not want administration. That's not my personality type. I don't have the patience for it. I just, I just don't. But um, I'm just trying to get more clubs in here, get more like elective classes. Now we have some, we have awesome teachers. We have some cool classes, but a lot of you guys, you want more. You know, you want to have a web design class. You want to have a, a tap dancing class. I don't know, whatever. Or these, or various clubs, whatever. And we have some, yeah. But it's hard to get the classes we'd like to have because you don't have the people to teach them. You don't have the faculty. You know the stuff, whatever. And I'd like to try to change that if I could. And it would be hard to do because of all the funding issues and the, the um, physical space we have. But I'd like to try for it. And last question. What is your favorite tie? Oh, Kira. Don't do that to me. <laughs> I have like 140 ties. So you guys are new to the school. You haven't realized it yet because you're, you're not on campus. I wear a different tie almost every single day. I have about 140 of them. There's 180 school days. So it's a new tie every day. And since we were online the first like five or six weeks, I might not have been a tie this year at all because of the like delay there. Um, and next week is Christmas ties. They start next week. I have that many Christmas ties. Um, ooh. Okay, I can give you like kind of groups of favorites here. Um, my SpongeBob tie. I actually have two of them. I have SpongeBob Christmas and the SpongeBob yellow one. So yellow one. Um, my Doctor Who tie, the TARDIS. Love that one too. Um, I'd say my two Superman ties. And then all my awesome Christmas ties because they have so many of them. And let, somebody asked me, I think it was you, Kira, um, in a tie smackdown, who wins, you or Mr. Four? Yes. And I told Mr. Cora that. He actually started laughing. He said, seriously? It's not even close. You win. Because he knows. Now, when it comes to sock showdown, Cora's the man. He has the most awesome socks. I wear white socks. At this, what else do you need? When it comes to ties, no, 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 no. no. I win. Hands down. It's not, not a competition here. Take all the men here. I'm going to win. I have the awesome ties. That's amazing. And that's all we have for you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.